allegedly departed WWE. This according to Ringside News and Wrestling Observer Radio. That's sad because NXT is probably the best written WWE show. Yep. And now they have Adam Cole versus <laughs> Pat McAfee. Right? I uh, quit Cast- too. <laughs> Mel Castro was first hired as a writer in 2013 to work on WWE TV and network programming. He was promoted to lead writer and a producer of WWE TV and network programming in February 2016. He was then promoted to the role of vice president of television creative in February 2019. That's huge. Yeah. Bel Castro's LinkedIn profile notes that the February 2019 promotion had him working as a lead writer, a showrunner, a producer, and talent development for WWE TV and WWE Network programming. <laughs> this week, Triple H was asked about the NXT head writer position during Wednesday's media call, and he noted that a committee heads up NXT creative currently, and that group includes Shawn Michaels, and or himself, Shawn Michaels, and Road Dog Brian Armstrong. So, uh, I mean, those are all three great creative minds and 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 Hall of Fame wrestlers. Um, yeah. Basically, you have DX writing the show, I guess. Right. Now that I look at it it that. works. That's what it is. It's DX. It's Triple H's boys. That's just the way Vince <laughs> used to run the show. So maybe they ran off poor uh, Bel Castro or something. I'm not sure, but. <laughs> Um, it says he was the head writer. Who knows how much he did and didn't do. But like I said, that was definitely the best written show WWE had. So let's hope it at least uh, let's hope it at least plateaus and doesn't go down. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and lastly, for comings and goings, Wrestling Observer Newsletter noted this week that Rey Mysterio Jr. had signed a new deal with WWE after considering an offer from AEW. Meltzer said AEW's offer equaled WWE's per-match offer, but WWE's deal was higher since it included more dates. Meltzer added, obviously Dominic is a big part of the deal. Mysterio's new deal is believed to be for three years. Mysterio has signed his last deal in September of 2018, and had and that had expired earlier this year. So he had been working without a contract when he lost his eye. Good luck getting medical coverage for that. <laughs> I'm surprised that he, if, if it's for the same money, I'm surprised he took the more dates because you yeah. think at his age he'd want less, but... Again, Dominic. You, you he sees, he sees Dominic. all this promise in his kid, his future WWE champion. Yeah. He sees all this promise that nobody else sees. <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> He's no Dominic uh, Dijakovic, that's for sure. You got to assume, back when, back when the Eddie stuff happened with Dominic, Vince said... Ray, one day we're going to sign your boy. <laughs> and then Vince forgot about it entirely, but Ray Mysterio didn't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and and Dominic had just got let go by the local 7-Eleven. And Mysterio's <laughs> like, hey, he needs a job, Vince. <laughs> Where's he been wrestling? Ah, you know, he's been working the 7-Eleven. I haven't watched that brand. <laughs> Because you know for sure, not only does Vince not know most of the underground, uh, the independent uh, wrestling organizations, he doesn't know what the fuck a 7-Eleven is either. Yeah. Vince has never been to a 7-Eleven in his life. I'm going to laugh when Seth Rollins burns Dominic's face and then Kane comes out and Dominic's really is Kane's son and Kane <laughs> gives him a mask. That's too much. <laughs> You are my son, and one day, all of Knox County will be yours. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, God. That's good shit. Let's talk about her people, Fat Mac. (laughs) Oh, I've been hurt. I've been hurt by Dominic Wrestling, but also... (laughs) Wednesday's NXT opener saw Johnny Gargano defeat Ridge Holland to earn the fourth spot in the ladder match for the vacant NXT North American title at TakeOver Triple X. But the match featured a pretty scary moment after Gargano was accidentally dropped on his head. It's happened a thousand times. The match was stopped as Triple H and Shawn Michaels came out with others to check on Gargano. 
It was also noted that Gargano reportedly apologized to everyone for delaying the tapings. Sorry, I busted my skull. The spot was edited some on airing, but they did actually show Holland dropping Gargano on his head. It does look pretty rough. Um, if you want to see it, look it up, folks. I've seen more gruesome, but it, it looks bad. NXT returned from a commercial break with Gargano down, the referee checking on him, and Mauro Ronaldo screaming, Oh, my God! <laughs> So I good, have to assume shit. the new guy is the one who fucked up the spot. Yeah, it looks so like So why it. is Gargano apologizing? Because because he's a professional <laughs> and he doesn't want to see anything happen to the show. <laughs> Straight up, he's a professional. He is. You know, I saw a picture of his wife again. She's still doing this heel roll thing. I realized she's just wearing Liv Morgan's wig from <laughs> when it was the... The Riot Squad. <laughs> it's the same wig. Is it really? Yeah. It's really that's, bad. It's really fucking bad. That's kind Especially of since Ruby Riot's know. back now and Liv Morgan's team back up with Ruby Riot. So it's like, I I'm going to need Candace my wig was, back. Uh, <laughs> what are they doing with Candice right now? Yeah, she's still doing that. I don't know the same heel thing from uh, War Games, I think, where she's like the dark pixie... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, she can play that role good. I don't know if she is playing it good because I haven't watched, but yeah. you'd hope they'd at least, you know, come up with a new, new gimmick Hairstyle. for her. So not just, here's an old wig. <laughs> Throw it on, bitch. It's just rude. <sighs> we can't buy you a new wig because we got to buy all these LED monitors <laughs> and pyro. I heard there was pyro. On yes, the show. yes. Uh, behind the, in between the rows of faces, there's like fireball launchers. <sighs> there's nobody in the, the arena, and you're spending money on pyro. How stupid! Well, you couldn't light up fireballs in between rows of audience members. They've done match. it before. They threw a fireball at, at Undertaker before his fucking match, and he went out there and had a match. <laughs> the second degree burns all over him. Uh. Yes, but that's not an audience member. Just saying. Uh, what? Oh, speaking of audience members getting hurt, I was <laughs> I was watching one of those hidden gems, and I I think it was it was it was Kamala. I was watching some old Kamala stuff. Nice. Because rest in peace. Rest his peace. Rest in peace. Anyways, he's coming down the ring, and he's got that big mask that he used to wear when he comes down to the ring. Yeah. And kids are all on the side, and they're, you know, touching him and slapping him. You know, I've, I've, you've been to wrestling events. You just want to touch the people. <laughs> He's looking straight ahead, got his mask on. You know he can't see who's touching him or nothing. This one kid goes out, touches his arm. He straight up fucking cold cocks him with a left. Just punches <laughs> the kid right in the face. The kid jerks back and falls down. I'm just laughing my ass off. It's like that was before lawsuits and shit, you know what I mean? But it's like he just fucking cold cocked this kid. Uh, just pow. Didn't even turn his head. He's still looking straight at the ring. Just pow. That kid <laughs> punched himself in the eye for the next, once every three weeks for the next six months of his life. Right? Just to keep I'm it there. i this forever. <laughs> I laughed so fucking hard. I loved it. Just That's pow. awesome. So awesome. <sighs> Sorry, sidetracked, but it, yeah, was, it had to be said. That was awesome, though. And you know what else is awesome? Marcus Buff Bagwell suffered several injuries <laughs> in the serious car accident he was in this past Sunday while driving in Cobb County, Georgia. Makes you wonder if the big boss man arrested him, old Cobb County, Georgia. <laughs> home of the big boss man. <sighs> Investigators say a black 2013 Chevy Tahoe was traveling west on Cumberland Boulevard when the driver lost control while navigating a curve. The Tahoe collided with the center median and metal fence within the median, then continued west across eastbound lanes. <laughs> Bagwell then collided with the curb before colliding into a freestanding bathroom <laughs> at the Cobb County Transit bus station. And then the Dukes of Hazard jumped over him. <laughs> this just this is this is, goes back to the Sonya Deville shit. It's such a good story. Right, yo. He's, he's hitting everything. It's like watching a uh, watching two a points movie or something. Four points. 
taking up fences, hopping curbs, driving the wrong way on one ways, and ends with a crash into the bathroom. God. And there's a lady. I just, I just wish I could have been watching. And he tips his hat. <laughs> right, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> He just hands her the roll, ma'am. <laughs> oh, little Charmin. Uh-huh. Investigators believe the 50-year-old Bagwell was impaired by prescription medication during the accident, which they were calling a serious injury traffic collision. That there just no... sounds boring. Doesn't sound near as fun as what you just described earlier. Right, right. We won't call That's, it the the <laughs> That's the name of the movie. That's the name of the movie. Serious injury, injury, traffic. injury traffic collision. <laughs> That's good shit. <laughs> sounds like sounds like one of the shows on uh, on interdimensional cable. <laughs> <laughs> there were no other injuries or victims. That's Which why we can laugh at him. Very about fortunate, it. yes. <laughs> he did it to himself so we can laugh at him. <laughs> Nobody Bag- else got hurt, so fuck it. Bagwell suffered broken ribs, a broken right hip, a broken left socket bone, a broken nose, <laughs> torn right groin muscle, and he has <laughs> lots of poipal bruising on his body. Despite multiple <laughs> injuries, Bagwell said he will not need surgery, just more drugs. Just give me some pain pills, Doc. I'll be fine. <laughs> give me my pain pills home, don't and worry. my keys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where'd the Tahoe go? <laughs> you know, hitting all this stuff, he's in the safest location he could possibly be. How did he beat himself up so badly while inside of a car? You know, inside a fucking towel. Yeah, and the car is still going, so it can't be that damaged, you know? He just keeps hitting stuff. I guess um, maybe this is the, uh, you always hear people talk about, you know, these wrestlers that are so built and and ripped and and big and burly. Maybe he ran into the proverbial brick shithouse. You don't get that reference? I do. Okay. It wasn't funny, though, huh? No, not really. Damn it. I'm sorry. Well, you know, I'm trying. Here. And you just killed the show, Fat Mac. I'm trying. That was, the whole show was hinging on that joke. Yeah, yeah we might as well. I We're mean, out of news now. now. Yep, there's so there's, there's nothing left. You fucked fucking it up. On, ended you on that fucking. I can't even, I can't you know, even fucking deal with you anymore this week, Fat Mac. <laughs> 